During the past decade, the telephone has become Asia's most widely used communication tool. Thanks to low-cost handsets and high competition among telecom companies, most Asians can now use a phone of their own. Talking on the phone is simpler, easier and more personal. All over Asia, people call each other a great deal, both in good times and bad. Can talking on the phone help those responding to disasters and emergencies to be better organized? How can voice be used more efficiently in both alerting and reporting about disasters? And where can computer technology make a difference? These questions were investigated in a recent action research project by LearnAsia, an Asian regional think tank. It's a voice-enabled technology that allows uh, to bridge the last mile communication in terms of uh, disaster information. The research was conducted in partnership with Sarvodaya, the largest development organization in Sri Lanka. With half a century of grassroots experience and a countrywide network, Sarvodaya is well equipped to respond to humanitarian emergencies. We also wanted to identify the best technologies required that are effective at the ground level and at, at village level. Even in our previous research projects where text was used, uh, we try to do it in local languages, Sinhala and Tamil. Many people in Sri Lanka prefer to call rather than send faxes, emails or text messages. The research probed how voice-based reporting can fit into globally accepted standards for sharing emergency data. We experimented with an interactive voice response system that is capable of receiving uh, voice mail and also is capable of sending out campaigns of voice messages. We needed to convert the voice messages into categorical text form which is more apt to analysis for decision support. So this technology is basically a fancy answering machine in some sense. This process involves voice messages coming through phones and then being stored and sorted in computers. But is the technology ready yet for humans and computers to talk to each other? Computational linguistics is about doing language processing tasks using computers. And this is not computer language, of course, it's human languages. Researchers at the Colombo University have been tackling this challenge for many years. At this language research lab, they have done a lot of work to give computers a local voice, that is, to make them vocalize text written in Sinhala and Tamil. This is now used in various automated services in banks and telecom companies. But it's much harder for computers to understand human speech. This is because even the same language can be spoken in many different ways. Our technology with respect to Sinhala speech recognition is still not at the level that it should be. And emergencies are not normal situations. Yes, so this is, uh, there will be a lot of challenges. So one of the things is that in most emergency situations you won't get a clear voice because there will be a lot of noise around, uh, uh, it could be recorded under stressful conditions and so on. In emergency communication, the, the completeness of the message and amb unambiguity is very important so you don't create any dismay or it does not lead into false predictions. So we do need to improve the, not the interactive voice response technology, but the, the communications technology uh, itself. It's a tough problem in computer science, but solving it can yield far-reaching benefits. We are in the Situation Room at Sarvodaya's Community Disaster Management Center in Moratua. Staff here monitor national and international sources for information on various hazards. They stand by to respond to any emergency. 
a phone call alerts the staff about a mini cyclone in southern Sri Lanka. That information is turned into a situation report using Sahana, an expert system for managing disaster information. It works with internet technologies. Then, a spoken message is recorded using Freedom Phone, an interactive voice response system that works with GSM telephones. These two systems were field tested here during this action research. To get these two systems to work together, a content standard known as EDXL was used. Sarvodaya's field staff are among the first to respond to disasters at community level. They use phones to update each other and to seek help. Our staff are very grassroots uh, workers who respond with their practical skills and they don't approach problems with a theoretical mind. So this interface of voice and text is really ideal for such workers who want quick response, quick, quick advice. At the same time, they are able to feed in to a national system or a network information in a very short time. A grassroots organization like Sarvodaya simply must work in the local languages. Chandrani often responds to landslides, a common hazard in the hilly district of Norelia. Sarvode's ability to respond quickly makes a difference in times of distress. A recent example was on the 25th of November 2011 when gale force winds lashed the southern district of Matara. They came without any warning. Karunavati arrived on the scene while the winds were still blowing. Over the next many hours and days, she helped the affected fisher communities to cope with the aftermath. With her phone, she sought help from within Sarvodaya as well as government agencies. The technology isn't perfect yet. But this study has shown its potential. From this research project, we found that uh, the use of uh, telephone calls, voice especially, was easy to use. It was useful, they found it, and they had a positive attitude towards using. This was assessing them on the base of uh, the technology acceptance. So definitely when you use voice, it, it has the advantage of being able to uh, communicate in their own uh, you know, uh, native language, which is, which is very effective. In the end, technologies are only a part of strengthening communities to cope with various disasters. We would like more researchers and practitioners to invest their resources in integrating systems like Freedom Phone and Sahana, or enabling any other interactive voice response systems to bring the less computer iterate and the, those who are fear of uh, the English language into the uh, digital uh, community, especially for disaster management. So uh, community resilience building will ultimately help the national uh, capacity uh, to, to uh, face uh, disasters.